Hi, Jacob. Hey, welcome to our uh, internet update on the aquaponic system. Uh, I don't think we had this tank last time we did a video. So we're, I guess we're going to do an update. There's still some work to do, and I guess we'll explain what it is. I didn't want to do a video until we finished all that work, but it looks like it's just going to take us a little while to do it. So let's show the new tank. The same tank as the old tank. Right. Uh, I moved half of the fish in here. Uh, with help from uh, Eric and uh, Ashley, who are friends of ours. Uh, and we have one tank on it. This is the first time that we've tried the loop siphon, which I think we'll probably put it in the wiki. One thing that I learned from uh, one of the aquaponics people in the, in the aquaponics community who lives in uh, Malaysia is I couldn't get the hoop siphon to work, so I messaged him. His name is like Milford or something like that. I don't know how to say it. But uh, he's a nice guy. Speaks English. Uh, which, you know, makes it easy for me because I don't speak, I don't speak whatever they speak there. But uh, I learned from him that if you if this is the same size as this part of the hoop siphon, the siphon won't start. And what's the benefit of having the, the hoop siphon over what we had in the old blood drain, the bell siphon, is that you don't leave, lose any surface area like with the bell siphon. So it, it, will, it will drain just like that, but the siphon starts out here, not in the tank. It's also cheaper to build. This one was like seven dollars. This was about a dollar fifty. Oh wow, that's a lot cheaper. Yeah. So we'll be doing those next time. I kind of want to build it a little bit bigger next time because this one it takes a very long time for it to drain. But it seems like the plants are doing fine, and we can see. We tried another thing that we learned from uh, that PDF you found from Backyard Aquaponics, which is you plant your plants, but then you just throw in some seeds, and the seeds have volunteered. And there's a whole bunch growing. I don't know what they are. I know. I mean, I know what I threw in, but I don't know what they are. What they are until they mature. Like I think this is dill, but I don't know for sure. It looks like the dill we had before. So all that's all that's growing real well. This is also. I don't think we filmed this. This was our first pepper. It's still growing. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's right there on the end. I think it might be a jalapeno. But I don't know for sure. And then let's show the other one, which is much larger. I think this, I think this is an Anaheim, but I don't know for sure. But that one's grown a lot better. Right. That's pretty. Yep. It's not even a big, a big plant either, and we're no. already fruiting. Yeah. But one thing I'm going to try, because... Tomorrow, when I get some time, I'm going to uh, put the, the, as you guys can see, I took one of the floating wraps off just to make a little bit more surface room so we could get into the fish, and I moved that in. Uh, so there's fewer plants here, but there's also fewer fish producing nutrients, so for the first time ever, I think, we had a uh, non-toxic, or a, a toxic ammonia level under three, or under six. And above six is really bad for the fish. So we've been trying to uh, get that down, but now that I've split it out, we have double the amount of water. We have uh, a whole other bed that's probably got lots of nice bacteria growing in it. Uh, we've got the ammonia down, our nitrates. And nitrates are still very high, but that's what the plants like. And so uh, doubling the water really helped with the nutrient issue. We still have a little bit of a pH problem, but we've been dealing with that with eggshells and uh, baking soda. Uh, besides that, what other changes did I make? The tree's going crazy. Oh, the tree's doing real well, yeah. So what did you say that was, a black walnut? Black walnut, yeah. It's, we originally were told that it was avocado. It's not avocado, it's black walnut. They, right. Apparently they had both in their compost. She forgot about the black walnut and gave them out. Of all the people that got them, she gave it to about 20 people. They had, they had 20 sproutlings. Ours is the only one that lived. Huh. Wow. So everybody else has died. So obviously aquaponics is, is successful in growing black walnut trees. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, and, and, I mean, you can see everything's doing real well. We replaced the old slats with these double slats that are not bowed, so you can see that the beds are all level now. Not like they used to be where like, the, they were all sunk in in the middle because there right. wasn't enough support. Now yeah. they're all level. And uh, the fish seem happy they're not dead. It's good. Right. They weren't dead before. We still have 44 out of 45. So, mm. and they're much bigger. They'll probably be ready to eat in a couple of months. 
Now this filter, um, the plastic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a suggestion by Ashley that one of the things that was the problem with the old boards is they, would, they were getting this mold on them. Uh, and it's because they were wet all the time. She suggested we put this plastic on so that it wouldn't, so the water doesn't splash up and get the board wet. And the board is bone dry underneath the plastic, which is great. And hopefully that'll help control the, uh, help control the mold that was growing. So that's a good right. thing. I want to put it, I'm going to put it on, over on these two also, because the wood's a little bit wet under there. Right. The solution that came up for this one was I made the tube longer, so it's closer to dumping the water so it wouldn't splash as much. Right. Yeah, we elongated that one um, so that it didn't it didn't really splash the board, which was, yeah. was so good. So that worked out really well. So we can either do that or we can put a plastic on. What right. I'd like to do next time we change slats is maybe cover the entire board in plastic or probably not the entire board because we don't want any, any moisture to get trapped inside, but we cover the bottom part of it at least with plastic so that when water splashes up, it doesn't get on it. Right. Which would, which would be really nice. That's uh, draining. Yep. It takes a long time to drain. So remember, that's that's probably what half the size. What do you mean? The the tube. You said it. Oh, they're not the, this, can't be the same this size. This one is half an inch. This is or this is three quarters of an inch. This is half an inch. So it goes from up, and then it, when it gets to here, that's where the siphon gets created because it reduces size. Right. The one that we used over here is two inches. Or yeah, two inches. I think. Right. Or maybe it's one and a half. I don't know the size, but. Right. It's, this, it's the same size as this, which is one inch. So one inch, this was one inch tube. And uh, I mean, if you look, you can see all the surface area we lose with the bell siphon. Right. Now what a lot of people online are saying is that the bell siphon's more reliable, but I don't mind trying them both. Right. So the bell siphon hasn't failed us yet, but the uh, loop siphon hasn't failed us yet either. Right. So we'll see how it goes, and whichever one is the success, that's the one we'll stick with. The loop siphon, like I really hope, is a success because it's cheaper. Right. And I mean, who doesn't really check their aquaponics system daily? Yeah, exactly. I mean, so I mean, if it stops working, we'll, we'll know. Right. I mean, yep. one thing that I thought about doing maybe is uh, because because this, if this gets clogged up, this will overflow. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about maybe drilling an overflow. Uh, exit, just in case. That's a great idea. Yeah, right there at the top, I would yeah. suggest doing that. So, we'll great. work on that. That's one of the changes that tomorrow I want to make. I want to add. We need more plants because even though like our ammonia is going down, we our nitrates and nitrites are still really high. Which uh, the nitrates and nitrites are toxic to the nitrifying bacteria. So it's not bad for the fish, but we want the bacteria to continue to grow. So we need to lower those rates. And, by, and the way to do that is to add more growth, more plants. And right. so we're we're going to try to add more of these, which is going to be nice because we can add slowly with these, and they're relatively cheap. And we can just keep stacking them next to each other. Right, like bring them yeah. out, and then put some right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, and well, i got to replace the bowls too, because we the right color. But uh, you want to show them your outdoor card? Oh, well, uh, it's getting dark. Um, okay. I'll hold off on that for okay. a little bit later. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's and, I mean, uh, good update, I guess. Uh, we'll have another update later on. Yeah, indeed. Right. Good night, Bye. everybody.